Archangel Gabriel's Daily Messages, November 23rd to 29th, 2014. What if you thought of your emanations as having a poker game with the universe? Every time you bet love, we see your love and raise it with more love. There is no reason to ever bluff or call you on your offerings, and everyone wins. Patience, generally speaking, is an indicator of your level of faith and acceptance in any given situation. When you are secure in your faith, you have complete acceptance that everything is unfolding in a way that is divinely perfect. When you know that everything is being taken care of, you realize there is nothing left to do but be fully present and enjoy the now moment. You cannot be impatient and enjoy the now moment at the same time, dear ones. Impatience is trying to rush past the beauty of the now. Slow down. Trust. Know each person and situation is guided and loved, and serving a purpose for all involved. Your faith and acceptance will anchor you in the energies of patience and peace, and will, in turn, make all of your moments far more enjoyable. Frequently your expectations put a cap on your experiences. Your intention gets the ball rolling vibrationally, but when you only accept your creation if it looks a certain way, you put huge limitations on what the universe can deliver to you. It may be that there are different experiences that are stepping stones to what you wish to create. It may be that what you expect is not for your highest good or the highest good of others. But more often than not, your expectation is so much less than what the universe wishes to deliver to you, if only you would create the opening for it to do so. Dream big, dear ones, but allow it to be a co-creative process, which means leaving lots of room for your ideas to manifest in even grander, unexpected and delightful ways. Your imagination is the tool that connects you to your highest visions, your inspired creations. Making time to play with your imagination is the ultimate in freedom, because it taps you into not only your alignment with Source, but also into a realm of endless possibilities. As children, so many of you were taught to dismiss your imagination, which was the beginning of your disempowerment. Dear ones, your innocence, your imagination is still there, waiting to be dusted off and rediscovered. Use it to create, to bring lightness and play back into your lives. Follow the imagination bridge to your greatest joys, creations, and discoveries, and you will be weaving magic back into your reality again. Some human beings hold the idea that you can lose parts of yourself, that you can lose your innocence, that you can lose your ability to trust, your ability to love. In reality, you hold all things. You can never, ever lose an aspect of yourself. People cannot take parts of you away from you. There is always a part of you that is full and complete. What has happened is you have made a decision to allow those traits to diminish, to fall into dormancy. How do you fix this? First, become your own loving parent and create a beautiful and safe environment for yourself to shine in your entirety. Then bring those aspects of self back into the light. Integrate them back into your way of being. You are always whole, and wonderful and divine. You have simply allowed yourself to believe you have become divided, that you are broken. You can call back all aspects of yourself that you have given up on, dust them off and put them back into operation and start to experience the fullness of your being all over again, whenever you want. It is never too late to experience your wholeness, your completeness, your divinity. It is always waiting patiently for you to move back into. Having a relationship and in choosing not to love again is like having a car break down and then deciding never to drive again. You are severely limiting your ability to have the satisfying experiences you crave and deserve, if you are excluding such necessary elements. Choosing to retaliate in a way that denies self is only keeping yourself in the energies that upset you in the first place and will only perpetuate the discomfort you are trying to avoid. If their car breaks down, a wise human honors their desire for enjoyable transportation, does their research, and buys a new car with greater reliability and more features they desire. If their relationship breaks down, a wise human honors their desire to love and be loved, and from a new place of clarity and knowledge, chooses a new relationship with greater reliability and traits that match their desires. 
do not deny yourselves, dear ones, even if you have a disappointment. Simply learn from your experiences and choose again, based on your new level of wisdom, for you are on the planet to love, enjoy, experience, and evolve. Many of you hold back, waiting for a situation to prove itself to you. We understand that you see this as being cautious, but this is faulty thinking, because if you are entering into any situation with doubt, fear, or distrust, you are automatically blocking the flow and its ability to bloom into its full potential. Giving partial energy can only ever result in partial results. Such an approach comes from fear of the unknown. Dear ones, your life is not happening to you, it is responding to you. You are the one who sets the energetic tone for your life expression. When you finally accept your infinite ability to create, you will shine brightly and beautifully, and from there, will create the life of your dreams. Archangel Gabriel Channeled by Shelley Young TrinityEsoterics.com